Hello everyone, I am Dr. Abhinaya Alluri, Consultant Obstetrician, Gynecologist and Laparoscopic Surgeon at Gate Hospitals High Tech City. So today I am going to tell you about PCOS or Polycystic Ovarian Syndrome. So this is a common hormonal disorder that we are seeing in the women these days. It is more common in adolescent and reproductive age group women. And most common signs and symptoms of the disease are patient can have irregular cycles or delayed periods. Patients do complain of lot of uh, uh, acne on their skin, hirsutism or typical male pattern of hair development. And apart from this, they can also have polycystic ovarian morphology in the scan. So these are the criteria we look for if you want to coin the patient as having PCOS. And at least having two out of these three can say that you have polycystic ovarian syndrome. Now, what is the basic treatment for this disease? First, it depends upon what the patient wants. So, if the patient is having irregular cycles, we try to regularize her period by giving hormonal treatment. If the patient is planning for fertility, we know in PCOS there is problem with ovulation and egg proper egg formation. We put them on ovulation induction drugs and manage their preg uh, them to give, become pregnant. If the patient is having problems like lot of excessive hair on the body or thick pattern of hair on their upper lip pension, so we try to put them on hormonal pills to decrease the increased male hormone content in their body. So it depends on mainly what the patient wants. And along with this, we should do a proper lifestyle modification because PCOS is a lifestyle disorder. So eating a calorie deficit diet, diet rich in high protein and less carbohydrates is very essential. And exercise becomes the main uh, part, plays a main part in PCOS. Uh, it should include both cardio and strength training. In obese PCOS women, we ask them to have weight loss. But in lean PCOS also, exercise is very important to keep the hormones under control. Thank you.